What's new in Camtasia 2019 for Mac? Camtasia 2019 for Mac has a lot of the same new features that Camtasia for Windows has. You can find details in these videos on auto-normalize loudness, cursor smoothing, customizable shortcuts, add logos, text spacing, canvas presets, block style, new device frames, and whip spin transition. In this video, let's look at what additional features there are in the Mac version. There are four. Batch export, hide icons while recording, new visual effects, and touch bar interactions. Batch export lets you select multiple Camtasia projects and render them all at once. Click the Share menu and choose Batch Export. Here, you'll choose the production settings that you want to use, as well as the projects that you want to produce. Hide Desktop icons lets you clean up your desktop before recording. With Camtasia open, click the Recorder icon in the menu bar and choose Hide Desktop Icons. This disables desktop icons even if you're not recording. New visual effects include outline edges, mosaic, and color tint. Outline edges can make your video look more cartoon-like or even like a sketch. Mosaic makes it look like you applied a pixelation effect at 17 intensity across your whole clip. Color tint lets you choose two colors for the highlights and dark areas of your image or video. You can then increase their intensity and desaturate the color. Touch bar interactions include options to create a new project, new recording, open project, start recording, stop recording, pause recording, scrub timeline, split video, split all, and navigate to the previous and next media. Interested in more Camtasia for Mac videos? Let me know by leaving a comment below.